What's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to take somebody from a platinum retouch blonde to a dimensional, beautiful blonde, and I can't wait to show you exactly my technique, so stay tuned. have a really fun model coming in. She used to be a kind of platinum retouch and we would do a lots of different fun colors on her. In fact, last time we did her hair, we did purple hair. But today she wanted to do something more natural. She wants to kind of grow out her roots. So I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how to take somebody from a really harsh grow out line to something more soft, more dimensional, and something that's gonna be lower maintenance for your clients and get them on that low maintenance train. All right, so this is our starting canvas. You guys can see that we used to do a bleach out on her and then we had done some highlights for the last couple times and then we always did kind of a vivid color on her overlay. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be blending out her natural regrowth into her blonde, um, giving her some baby lights, a little root shadow, and then we're gonna turn this kind of greenish color into a beautiful blonde, kind of rooty blonde. I'm so excited for this transformation. All right, so I'm gonna be doing a mix of baby lights and then in between the foils, I'm actually gonna drag down some natural color in there. And then at the end, we'll do like a little bit of a root shadow. And on those blonde ends, I actually am gonna go in with like a color remover, maybe a lightener, um, just to kind of remove some of that green that she has kind of residual left over from her color. So first, I'm gonna start with 25. I'm gonna mix up her baby lights. Um, we're gonna do like a full, um, full partial highlight um, kind of thing. And then we will uh, mix up the color for that. And then of course, I'm gonna put a little old plex in there too, so we'll do just a little bit in there. She's got kind of finer hair, so we wanna make sure we're putting that old plex in there. All right, so I'm gonna start, and I'm just gonna do a partial highlight, so I'm gonna work my way down through the back, and then work my way forward, and then we'll do to the sides, and we'll definitely do a um, nice little money piece in the front. So I am one of those weird people that foils backwards, um, so a lot of people are always thinking that's super funny about me, but I foil always backwards. So I grab my piece right here, and again, we're doing kind of more baby lights. You guys can see she has some of these highlights that are already down in here, so we're not gonna overlap, we're gonna just be really gentle. She has finer hair, so we wanna be really careful. Um, but I'm gonna grab my foil, and I always lock it into place, and then I foil this way. So again, I'm, I'm kinda one of those weird ones that does foil backwards, but we are gonna be going all the way to the root because uh, we are gonna do a little bit of a root shout out in there. And so for these little pieces, you guys can see, um, I love this comb because it's from it's from Framar, but I can help kind of pick out those pieces and just kind of apply the lightener right where it needs to be. So I'll fold our foil in half, and then we'll just continue down the back of the head. Now I'm not going to take super super tight sections. I am going to leave a little bit of um, hair out, and the reason why is I want there to be dimension in here. I don't want it to be solid blonde, otherwise we would just end up with a platinum retouch again. So we are going to leave some of that hair open and uh, out in between foils. So I'm going to keep working, and I'll show you guys when we get around to the top. All right, so now I've finished the back section and I'm gonna get to the front. And again, you guys, I foil backwards. So I'm gonna start right here. Um, I always start with kind of my section going here. Um, I clip this down just because it's gonna help. You guys can see she's definitely got some roots in there. So um, we're gonna do them a little bit tighter as we get around to the front. And I'll weave this guy. Grab my foil, place it down, and then just take my lightener right here and just kind of feather it through those little pieces right there. And then just lock it into place. And you guys, because I foil backwards, I don't fold this again. It allows me to get really, really close in with my foils so I can stack them and they don't get too bunched up.
All right, so now we've gotten to the front. We're about just a little over a half an inch from that hairline. So I am gonna do them a little bit tighter in here because I definitely wanted to have kind of that brightness still in the front. So I'll take my little section. I'm actually gonna clip this guy back right here. And this is gonna be our money piece. Now we're not gonna back them up back to back, but we will just leave out a little bit less hair. Definitely do more of a baby light kind of look here. So I'll put the hair back. Get nice and tight in there, because these ones we probably will barely, barely tap that root. We're not gonna do a full like root shadow on this area. And these ones I will fold down just to kind of secure them a little bit because the hair is a little bit finer here. So then this section that we have down here, it's just a little bit smaller. Get really detailed in that hairline. So one thing that I want to say is with baby lights, you will be able to see definitely through that foil. Like there shouldn't be very many hairs in the foil. So you guys, it will help um, make it a little bit brighter there in those front pieces. And it's just gonna help you get a lot more detailed, especially around this hairline. It's worth it to take the time to put a few extra foils in than to just try to you know, skimp on these foils. So um, even if that means I need to do like one or two more, I will because it's more important for me. You guys can see I'm capturing those little tiny baby hairs over here. And we're just gonna keep working our way forward until we get to that front piece. So this will be my last foil, but you guys can see this is a nice little detail guy right here. These little pieces. Not very many hairs in this foil, but it's worth it because it's gonna make it just a really seamless blend around her hairline. So now I'm gonna get to this little piece kind of right in here. You guys can see this little area is gonna be um, another foil that we're gonna do. Some people would skip this area, but if you want that really detailed hairline, this is a really important piece. So I'm just gonna weave it where it naturally falls. And I'm not gonna grab those guys. And I use normal size foils, but you could use a foil that's maybe cut in half for this. That could work really well too. Now for these ones, obviously I do fold the foils normal. I don't foil backwards for these ones. Um, usually when I get around to the sides, I foil like a normal person. So let this little guy out and see if we can get one more in there. So we still want to take some hair out because otherwise it would just be solid blonde around her face. We definitely don't want that. Um, but when you are doing these kind of diagonal pieces, you do want to make sure that you are going really fine with them so that she doesn't end up with like a blonde chunk right there. All right, so now I'm gonna work my way backwards. You guys can see that we've already done some highlights in here. And so the reason why I don't like to do them this way and do the highlights, uh, the foils going this way is because you'll get like more lines in the hair. Even though we're gonna do a root shadow on her, just in case when that root shadow does fade out, I want it to be a more seamless grow out. So by doing the foils diagonally back, will allow you to have a little bit more of a soft grow out um, versus such a harsh line grow out. So. We're gonna start with these little front guys. And you guys can see I'm getting really, really detailed in here. These are really small pieces that I am picking up. Really, really small. So she doesn't have a ton of thick, thick hair. And we are still gonna weave that. But this is gonna allow it to have that really detailed hairline. And just so you guys know too, I do this for all of my highlight clients, whether or not we're doing a root shadow or not, um, because I really wanna care about those details. Um, it, it makes a huge difference. And that's truly why a lot of my clients come back because they care because their hair grows out so seamlessly. Um, basically, baby lights are gonna grow out without a root line. So they're gonna grow out. You guys can see here how this one even grew out. It grew out so soft and subtly, even on her dark, dark hair. Um, we didn't root shadow this, but it grew out so nicely. So that's the importance of doing fine baby lights is it's really gonna make a difference. It's gonna make you stand out. A bunch of other, other hairstylists. I'm gonna continue going diagonal back and I'll show you guys when we're done with the foils. All 
All right, so in between her foils, I'm gonna do a little bit of a root shadow. She has enough root, kind of about this much, but I am gonna drag it down just a little bit in some areas. So I'm gonna be doing half 6NB and half 6N. Uh, we need the warmth because she doesn't have very much warmth in her natural, you know, in that kind of white blonde. So we're adding a little bit of warmth and I'm just gonna mix up about two ounces. So one ounce of color, one ounce of developer, and we'll go apply that in between the foils. So I'm just kind of applying it to her roots and kind of pulling it down just ever so slightly. Um, one thing you want to be careful of is you guys can see that color just splashed right on there. So one thing that I like to do is sometimes even wet the hair down a little bit. That'll help it blend just a little bit more. But I'm just kind of doing these in between the foils just to kind of again drag down that color. Um, we will be doing a little bit of a root shadow too. And she does have a decent amount of roots, but this is just going to kind of soften it in between the foils. Give her a little bit of warmth and uh, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna mix up her root shadow and I'm gonna do equal parts of 5N and 6N and I'm actually out of 6N, so I'm gonna do um, three quarters 5N and a quarter 7N. Do about 1.5 ounces. And I actually love this scale from Framar. I'm not even sponsored by them, I just freaking love the guys. So if you guys need a scale, this one's awesome. Okay, and then for her toner, for her end, since she still has a little bit of green in there, I'm actually gonna mix up equal parts of 9GB, shades you cute, and 9NB, and I'm gonna do about one ounce, so half ounce, half ounce, and then one ounce of clear. And I'm gonna apply this to her. And just to kind of get rid of some of that green, it's a little bit ashy and we wanna warm it up a little bit, but we don't want it to go super dark, so that's why I'm adding in some clear. And we'll do two ounces of developer and we're good to go okay so I brought her back to the chair all we did was I applied Olaplex and then I rinsed it out um, we let the Olaplex sit in for about 15 minutes and now I'm at the chair and I'm going to apply her root shadow first and I'm only going to do it about an inch down from her roots and then I'm going to go in and apply that kind of toner color to the bottom so I always like to start in the bottom with my root shadows just because if they get a little bit dark, it's okay, we want some depth there. So I'm just gonna apply it quickly. The reason why I brought her over to the chair was because I wanted to make sure that I had um, a little bit more control than sometimes at the bowl, you don't have as much control. <laughs> like to use this wow comb it helps me kind of blend down the color especially because I'm doing it on wet hair but it doesn't um, this little piece in here actually spins so it doesn't collect color on there and cause there to be um, spots or anything so I really like that one all right so I finished up the back and now I'm getting around to the front now if you guys notice I actually sectioned out her hairline I'm only gonna dab it on at the last like two three minutes so I'm just kind of doing this top section. Um, one thing that you will wanna make sure of is if you are gonna do kind of that front money piece um, that you wanna section out beforehand because otherwise it can get really messy. So I'm just applying it through to this kind of front area and then like I said, we'll go dab it almost when we're at the shampoo bowl for that last few seconds. All right, so I applied her entire root shadow to everywhere except for the front and now I'm gonna just place a little foil up here and I'm gonna take this little back section as I start to apply the toner, but I wanna clip this hair out of the way and I don't want it to get color on it, so a foil is a really great way to kind of separate the hair. So um, again, I'm gonna take my wow comb before I start applying just kind of the end color, kind of brush that down. You guys can see it's already working in there. It's been on for about five minutes, so we're gonna start down here at the bottom. Just go in and apply. And this again is that 9GB, 9NB um, with a little bit of clear. And that's just gonna warm it up a little bit. I'm excited to give her some warmth instead of it be quite so ashy, um, almost green. I want it to warm it up a little bit and give it some more dimension and life back into her hair. All right, 
So her ends are still a little bit ashy and a slight green tint to them still. So I'm going to take some of our 9RB, which is blush. So it has a little bit more of a rose, like pinky tone to it. And I'm going to put a tiny drop of the pastel pink in there. Um, this is going to really kind of warm it up a little bit. A little drop in there. And we'll do a little bit of 9GB too. Like ever so slight. So you guys can see it's still a little bit uh, ashy, so I'm just gonna apply this over her ends. I already rinsed out her root shadow. Um, we left that on for about 10 minutes. Same with that toner on the ends for about eight minutes. So now I'm just kind of applying this in, and I think it's gonna give us a nice like beigey tone, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna apply this through, and then I still have to go do the root shadow around her face, but I felt like this is more important, so uh, I have a little bit of that root shadow left for around her face. So this is it styled straight. I wanted to do it straight and we're gonna curl it because I think that it shows off so differently in all the lights. So I wanted you guys to really see that blend when it's straight. Oh, look how good it looks. All right, so here's our final look. You guys were obsessed with how it turned out. I'm so happy, I love it. I think that the root shadow was perfect. I love this root shadow because it's not actually bumping her base. You guys saw that her base was quite a bit darker. This isn't bumping her base, but it's making it look lighter and brighter, so it's gonna grow out so beautifully, and it gives her some warmth. But I love how this color turned out. We couldn't quite name it, so if you guys can think of a name in the comments, let me know. Um, I would love to hear your guys' names for this color because I just think it's so unique. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. I am obsessed with how her hair turned out, and the greatest thing is this process only took us about three hours, so this can definitely be something that can be done in the salon on a regular basis, and if somebody's looking to go a little bit more natural with their hair, this is a really great technique. So I hope that you guys learned something from it let me know in the comments below if you learned and what your favorite thing was and make sure to come over and say hi over on Instagram I would love to meet you and I'd love to know if this video was helpful for you and as always make sure to hit the subscribe button below because I'm gonna be sharing a lot more videos like this and if you love techniques like this make sure that subscribe button is hit because that way you're gonna get notified all the time so thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time